Today, big camera's staying at home because it's finally time to take out the MTB. Meeting up with a guy called Tony, and I think I'm in for a bit of a kicking because I've heard he's quick. Wish me luck. Forget it. Welcome to the videos, Tony. <laughs> Hi, Francis. We've been riding, been riding about what twenty minutes. Uh, He's yeah. killed me. I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> I've never seen you're so smooth on a mountain bike. It is ridiculous. He's like shoo, 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 just up every bit of stairs. It's been a great walk. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and now he's going to ride down this. Yeah, we're going to we're going to hit this next. I'll, I'll show you how to roll it. So just roll nice and smooth into it, and then just a little bit of lift it as you hit the lip. Be fine, one. We're not. At least you got a bit of a run up to get some speed to like. I will not be riding that. Not, Sorry not, guys. Not a deer. It looks a bit slippy. Yeah. Ne next week. Next ah, week. Yeah. I'll just get my eye in this week. You know. You don't want to do it on your um your borrowed bike. Yeah, definitely not on the borrowed bike. <laughs> So there's loads of trails down here. Yeah. Are they? Could you ride them on XC? Yeah. Yeah. yeah these ones. Yeah. There's some bigger ones up the other up the other side with some road gaps and things like that. Yeah. But ultimately, yeah, most of them's rideable. Are we still in? So, for the viewers, we've been in Beamish Woods. Yes. Beamish Town. What was it called? Uh, well, Beamish area, I would say. Uh, but there's a network is... of trails all through this, and you can yeah. sort of go yeah. back in yourself and. There's fair fair amount of like looping backwards and forwards you can do. This is uh this is basically the equivalent of Isha Woods, but ten times better. I've ten times been... less dog walkers as well. <laughs> so we'll come down this one here. Yeah, I feel at home here, mate. This is just like being at Peas Lake. So, promising for the training. Nice to be covered in mud as well. Now I feel at home. Reminds me of Isha Woods. Shame about this massive hill that I got a ride to get home though. Oh, got one by with loads of gears. What are you listening to? <laughs> I think it's Steps, isn't it? Isn't it the Venga Boys? No, that's boom, 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 boom. I want you in my room. Which sounds exactly the same. So while I was out doing really productive, important stuff like riding mountain bikes through mud, Daisy has painted a whole room. I'm well impressed. This is amazing. I think you've done a really good job, Daisy. I'm probably not doing this right. You've got to keep all the strokes going in the same direction. It seems to be going okay. I'm sure my dad will be shaking his head at my technique. But then two hours and we can put the bed back and show the final thing. I'm well impressed. Well done. Thank you. Filming this bit. <laughs> that bit's way nicer. <laughs> Any bits that are shit, we just put the bed in front of, and we put bedside tables in front of it. We just keep putting furniture until we can't see any. Most of that is acceptable. Thanks. 
It's like a trade finish. Except for that bit. The corner, oh yeah. Oh. The ceiling was really hard to put on. You put a ceiling on? I put the whole ceiling in, mate. I go through three phases of bike cleaning. I start off with a pre-clean, which is hosing down the bike as soon as you get home, because otherwise the mud, when it dries, sticks on it forever and ever. And then there's like the second clean, where I go out not dressed in kit and clean the majority of the bike as well as I can. And then I always end up doing a third clean when I actually bring it indoors and then I turn the lights on and then see that one, it hasn't dried properly. Two, I've missed loads of bits and I have to redo basically all of it again indoors. And then all the bits of stuff that fall off the bike go onto the kitchen floor. Which Daisy clears up, yeah. Sometimes I clean them up. Now, as you guys know, I've been using the um, Crud XL mudguard for a few weeks, um, especially when it was really, really muddy. It is a fantastic mudguard, but it is quite excessive and it's quite big. It's just quite cumbersome. So I thought as the seasons were transitioning, I would also transition to a slightly less imposing mudguard. So I went for this one, which is one from Ass Savers. Tony though, from this morning, was like, shouldn't have to use a mudguard held on by cable ties. So he got me a present. Look at that, from Syncross. Fits properly onto the Fox shocks. Maybe he felt bad for ripping my legs off earlier. Thanks for that, Tony. Thought we were gonna watch a movie, Daisy, not have a disco. Stop it. It's the other remote. What? It's the other remote. There you go. You wouldn't steal a television. I would if I could download one.